Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and actually welcome to another competition video as well. But before we get into today's competition guys, as always we need to go over the results of the previous competition and that was for Proxima B. So without further ado, let's get into this. So looking at the vote results, we actually had to go to a triple tiebreaker for this. The three top guys were tied on the original vote so we had to go to a tiebreaker. And looking at the results, it looks like Mad Planet Guy took the win with 11 votes. Siren took the second place with 8 votes. And lastly, Exiled Neptunian, he got 6 votes in third place for the uh, tiebreaker. So a massive congratulations to the three of those guys. So yeah, the winning objects here, here was Mad Planet Guy's one. This was the custom textured, tidy locked one here. So there it is there. So there we are. And then uh, moving on, we had Siren's one here, which was this um, more yellow coloured atmosphere one. So that was his Proxima B. So there we are. And then lastly, um, Neptunian's one was this object here, which is the one with the uh, quite a lot of clouds on it. So yeah, there we go. So congratulations to the three of those guys and obviously to Mad Planet Guy for taking another victory for his competitions. I think he must be on, uh, I think he's on four wins overall in all these competitions, four or five now. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And yeah, well done to him. But with that all said and done, guys, let's move on to today's competition. Okay, everyone. So moving on to today's competition now, we are doing 55 Can Cry E. So this is the, obviously, as some of you would probably know, the Diamond Planet. Before we uh, start placing the objects in, guys, just a bit of extra info. This is a Mad Planet guy provided this to us, so a massive thank you to him. So 55 Can Cry E is an exoplanet in the orbit of its sun-like host star, 55 Can Cry A. The mass of the exoplanet is about eight Earth masses, and its diameter is twice that of the Earth. Fast classifying it as the first super Earth. I remember when this um, came out. This is pretty cool. Yeah, so it's a super Earth. It takes less than 18 hours to complete an orbit, and is the innermost known planet in its system. 55 Can Cry was discovered on the 30th of August 2004. Oh, wow, that has been a long time. Uh, until the 2010 observations and recalculations, this planet has been thought to take about 2.8 days to orbit the star. In October 2012, it was announced that 55 Crankroy could be a carbon planet. So yeah, a little bit of extra info for you there. But without further ado, let's see what you guys have got for us. So let's go ahead and search up 55, and it should have more here. Oh, ho, ho, right, okay. Oh, man, okay. Let's see what we have got here. So we also have um, a bit of some objects um, at core sent us as well he sent us a few to share um but there before we get into his extra ones let's see here i think this is mine here this let's see i think this was mine so it hasn't got a name with it see i believe this is um either mine or cause because I, I, his ones didn't have names but yeah i think i made that <laughs> i think it's a little uh broken but yeah we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of that so right okay so yeah moving on to your guys's actual objects oh it does that again no we have to keep searching it up every time oh that's pure pain why do we have to do that <laughs> Oh man, okay. Right, we're just gonna have to we'll have to keep our menu open, unfortunately. Right. So the first object here, okay, this is by the user free R R O R. So let's uh, see what they have prepared for us here. Uh we have got the game paused, put it on still mode. Okay, there we go. So there is their 55 Karen Cry. So you can see there's some tidy locks stuff going on by the looks of things there. So we'll have a little closer look and then once we place them all in. Uh, next up, we have got Trains. This is their 55 Can Cry E for the user Trains. Let's go ahead and place their one in. Ooh. Ooh, I do like the lava effects on that. I'm guessing he must have smashed stuff into that. I I I'm guessing he must have used collisions to do that. Oh, those lava effects do look good. Oh, wowee. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Sirens 55 Can Cry E. Whoa, what is going on here? Whoa. I think something's kind of broken, my man. Oh. Either way, that looks flipping awesome, though. But what has happened? I think something must have broke. Oh, dear. Right, okay. Uh, next up, we've got Pluto Neon's one. I believe he wanted me to add city lights to this. Um, so there's that. Uh, then we have um, Vladizus. Let's see what they have got for us. There's their one. Let's just use the arrow keys and move in a bit. Oops, I placed two of them. Uh, next up, we have got... Uh, Chen Sitch is one. So let's see um, that one there. Okay. So that looks pretty cool as well. Okay. Uh, now we have XR Neptunian's one. Let's place that one in there. Ooh, okay. I'm liking the blue and the... Tr okay. Uh, then we have Stuck in 2D's one over here. So we've got a more white coloured one. Uh, then we have uh, this one here. So 55. This is Core's one. So let's go ahead and place his one there. And then lastly, the previous winner, Mad Planet Guys one. So let's go ahead and put that one in there as well. Okay, so we've got them all spawned in. And then Core also had these extra free to share with us. So we'll put those objects behind his one there. So we know they're his. 
So he made four different variants, but obviously the one he's submitting is the one at the front. So there's all of his. Okay, cool. Right, so there is the full lineup of them all. So now let's get a closer look. So this was the first one here. Right. Okay, so oh, we'll have to open the menu again to see whose they all are, because some of them don't have their names. Yeah, just for future reference, guys, um, just to make things easier when we're doing these, because obviously with the, wow, how weird this menu is now, please can you put your names in the uh, description here so we don't have to keep looking in the menu. Okay, so this one was um, free R R O R's one. Okay, so that's what they got for us there. So there's a full look around of it. Okay, cool. Can we go on edit mode while we've got the menu up? Oh, no, it closes the menu, damn it. Okay, so there it is. So as you can see, we've got a tidy locked effect going on. Obviously, the front side is getting uh, really spy stuff, and then the side behind is more uh, hidden. So there's that one. Then we had this one here. So this was... Uh, oh, it's, there's so many names to remember now. Oh, God. Right. 55. So this was Trains' is one. Okay. So, yeah, that one, as, we, as well, um, my guess, and I'm assuming he used collisions to give it the effect it has, which I think looks really, really cool on it. So there is that one. It does look really sort of dangerous there, doesn't it? So there's that one. Uh, next up, we have Sirens one again. So it's just a full look round of it. So as we can see, something hasn't gone quite right there, and it does look a little uh, broken. So yeah, that was Sirens one. Uh, then we had Pluto Neons one. So he wanted us to add city lights to this, I believe. So let's go ahead and turn them on in the new appearance tab as well. So city lights, always, yeah, always. Are they on? Oh, no, they are there. No, you can see them. Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure if they were there before. Maybe I just didn't see them. So, yeah, they are city lights. Okay, so, again, this one's also going with a tidy lock sort of effect, as we can see. If we turn it to the day side, or the night... Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> so, there you are. Cool. So, there's that one. Okay, next up, we have this one here. So, this one was... Let's see. Oh, that's so annoying. The menu doesn't... Like, oh, man. Right. Uh, this was Vladizus's one. So as we can see, a purpley shade on it, looking pretty cool. Also, you can see some uh, hot areas on it as well there, looking very dangerous indeed. So there's that one. Then we had this one here. So whose was this one? Uh, 55. So this one was uh, Chen Sitch's one. I believe they're nude competitions, so uh, welcome to the party. Um, so there's this one. So yeah, quite a different theme to the other one. It's got obviously use of yellows and uh, blues on it almost as well. I do like the use of the yellow on it. I think it does stand out pretty cool from the pack. So there we go. Then we had um, Exiled Neptunians one here. So this one's also got a tidy locked effect. So let's just rotate it the correct way around. So, well, I'm guessing it's meant to be this way around actually. So this would be the face facing the star. And obviously behind it, we have the glowing blue area. Oh yeah, look at that. So I'll see in the daylight side, the blue area... I do like that 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 sort of mix between the light and dark does look pretty cool, I have to say. I mean, oh, yeah. So that's just a better look at it as well. So the light blue on the dark side, and then obviously the red, violent, hot colour on the front side. So I've got to say that is a good-looking world there. I do like that one. So, oh, where are we? So yeah, that's just a sort of gap between the uh, hot and the colder area there. Yeah, that does that is a good-looking object to me. Uh, then we had Stuckin's one here. I remember this was stuck in this guy. I saw an image of it in the Discord. So this was his one. So as we can see, this one's going with a white coloured one. I believe he said to remove the atmosphere um, off this one as well. So where are I? I know a lot of people put their descriptions for this. So it's quite hard to just see where everyone was. Because a lot of people wrote stuff about their objects. I'm just trying to make sure I include everything. So uh, my submission has a thick atmosphere of... Uh, Geothermically emitted gases, heavy violets, and silicate vapor clouds covering a surface of molten silicate seas, with land masses covered in a layer of carbon compounds and soot and ash from the geothermal activity. Make sure you look underneath the atmosphere and clouds. So we just press that. Oh, there you go. There's the spiciness underneath. Oh, yeah. It's also got lights on it glowing hot as well. It looks like a completely different object. Look at that. It doesn't even look the same no more. So, oh, wow. We. Right. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's 55 Can Cry. And I also, while reading his, I saw uh, the first one here. Um, so this was um, Free ROR. He said that my submission has the planet fully engulfed in a molten ocean with a few small islands near the South Pole covered in hardened lava. Light stuck into this atmosphere is also thickest on the night side due to the intense radiation and heat of the star, breaking almost all parts of it on the day side. You may need to adjust the facing of the planet so the glowing face is the light source so yeah there we go we've got the glowing face and the light source and we'll see the um 
other areas behind it. So if we rotate it round, there's a good look of it there. So if we look underneath the cloud and atmosphere, that's what it looks like from behind. So you can see it's just an all orange colour behind it. And then obviously the front side is obviously glowing hot. So cool. Okay, so we've got everything um, included from his one. All right, excellent. So moving on now, we had Cause one here. Oh, where are we? So yeah, here was Cause one. So he went with the uh, classic sort of blue sort of shade for it. So here it is here. Obviously, if we look underneath the clouds and stuff on there. So it's got the sort of diamondy blue sort of shades on it there as well. But this is the one he is submitting. The ones behind it are just his prototypes. So let's have a quick peek at those as well. So here's a more reddish version of 55 Can Cry E here. So that is a prototype one. Then we had prototype two here with a more bl another blue variant with the glowing hot colours on it there. And lastly, we had the third variant he submitted. But obviously, like I said, you can't vote for these. These were just ones he wanted to share. So we have to remove those ones. So there we are. Okay. Uh, just going back to Sirens here. It looks like it's glowing now. or I think it may have been glowing the whole time. But look how weird it is. What is going on there? What if we try having a little fiddle with it? So let's just see. Oh my god, what has happened there? Right. Oh man, okay. Uh, so what if I go back to default? Does that fix it? No. Uh, oh, that's interface. Sorry, what am I doing? Solid custom. Default? Wow. Not sure what's happened there. It looks like we may have tried modding and it looks like it may have broken. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, that's still a very funky looking world. So, yeah, there's 55 can cry. Uh, then, yeah, lastly, moving on. So, we did cause one. Now, Mad Planet guys won. So, look at this. So, he said, um, I believe he put in his Steam post um, for this. Let me just get it up. So believe this one took him a few hours to make actually so he said it took three hours to make it has an imported texture and it's a molten world with clouds and apparently it's not possible by default like in-game customization so you can only do this by modding the files so let's see what he has uh, got for us here so um layers so it looks like there's no there's no atmosphere on here so if we look no atmosphere so pretty funky stuff indeed so you can see it looks like there is clouds there but obviously we can't hide the clouds because there's no atmosphere so it does look pretty cool this one so it looks very very menacing i have to say i mean it looks very very dark menacing man right so i will add an atmosphere so i just want to see what it remove the clouds so just put um one atm so adding an atmosphere really spices it up oh my god look at it when you add the atmosphere on oh Maybe it's meant to have an atmosphere. Maybe it was just bugged. But obviously without the atmosphere, it does look a little more dimmed. Oh, we've just broken it. Oh my god, it's haunted. So one atmosphere. There you go, that fixes it. So yeah, so we'll just we'll have, to, we'll have a copy of with and without the atmosphere. Because I'm not sure how it was intended. But um, just looking at the image of his simulation post, it looks like it's meant to not have the atmosphere. So I think this isn't... I don't think this is how he intended it to look. So if I go back to 55... So I believe that's how it should be looking. Is the one on the left there? I think the one on I think this one's obviously it hasn't even got an atmosphere colour, but obviously now we can hide the clouds and atmosphere. So that's what it looks like properly underneath. If you hide all that, because obviously this one you can't do it because it doesn't have a, a cloud option. But obviously it has. You can definitely see there's black clouds on it. So if you want to have a full look underneath, that's what it looks like. But obviously with all of the clouds back and added, that's what you get. So yeah, overall, I mean that's a good looking object. I think it does look very very. Uh, very very hot and spicy indeed there so there we go there is mad planet guys one so yeah there we are guys that's a full look at all of the objects that you guys have submitted here so yeah let me know this is gonna i think this is gonna be a very interesting vote honestly i mean there's some really cool ones in here so let's refresh them all to the way they were so there was a uh, neptunians one again looks like this one's just lost its front face that's really weird <laughs> what happened there that was very bizarre 55 so that's how it should look. I don't know what happened to it, but yeah, there you go. So that's how that one should look. So that's rather weird. Let's uh, put, drag that back into place. Okay, cool. So there's the full lineup of them all again. So just going over them all again. So just um, to get everyone's names in. So 55. It's really annoying. We have to keep searching this. So we had uh, 3R, ROR. That was the first object here. Oh, no, no, no. What am I doing? No. So yeah, if we had that one. Then we had, um, so we had yeah, his one. Then we had this one here. So this was Trains' object. So that was the one with like, the collision impacts on it, making it really cool. Then we had Siren's one, which um, unfortunately seems to be a bit broken. Then we had this one here, which was Pluto Neons. Then we had this one, which was uh, Vladizus. 
Next up was uh, Chen61. Hope I'm saying everyone's names correctly. Then we had um, Exiled uh, Neptunians one here. Or Exiled Neptunians, yep. Um, then we had Stuck in 2Ds one. That was one where if you move the uh, clouds, it looked completely different. Uh, then we had Cause one, going with the blue sort of shade on it. And then lastly, we had Mad Planet Guy's custom surface model. So there it is there. So let's go ahead and just uh, turn that off. Okay, cool. So yeah, there is the full lineup. So yeah, really interesting competition today, guys. So good luck to everyone in the votes. And also, if you'd like to take part in the voting for this competition, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can uh, vote by adding the reactions to the uh, message I'll be sending when this uh, all goes up. So yeah, make sure to go ahead and give a vote for who you want to think to win. Obviously, you can't vote for yourself, and please only vote once. So obviously, if you vote for multiple people, that's just a bit silly so obviously you can only vote for one person and obviously not yourself so yeah please keep that in mind when voting and yeah only vote once the video is actually released because some people voted before the video even came up which is a bit bizarre because obviously you haven't seen this stuff yet so how do you know who to vote for so it's really weird well that all said and done guys massive thank you for watching good luck to everyone in the competition and yeah with all that said and done let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys subscribe for more help us on the journey to 22,000 subscribers and yeah with that all said and done guys Make sure you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.